Can you actually double your FPS using only registry tweaks? Is it possible to get zero ping and no delay as the YouTubers promise? Well, in this video, this is exactly what we're going to test. And just so you know, I'm not taking anyone's word for it. I'll put every single one of these claims through multiple tests that will help you understand what's good for your PC and well, what you should absolutely never apply on your computer. But before we dig deeper into this, let's talk about today's sponsor, Surfshark. Have you ever tried watching a movie online just to find out it's locked in your country? Yeah, it's kind of annoying, but that's where Surfshark VPN comes in. With Surfshark, you can instantly change your virtual location and unlock movies, shows, and content libraries from all around the world. In short, if it's region blocked, Surfshark makes it yours. But it's not just about entertainment. It keeps you secure online by encrypting your data, hiding your IP address, and protecting your personal info from hackers and trackers. And unlike most VPNs, Surfshark lets you connect unlimited devices under one account. This means your phone, laptop, or tablet, and even your smart TV can all stay protected at the same time. Plus, with Surfshark Alert, you'll get notified the moment your personal data appears in a data breach, giving you a chance to act fast before it's too late. Click the link in the description and use my code FRAMESYNC at checkout to get an exclusive discount plus four extra months free. And for your peace of mind, they offer 30 days money back guarantee, so it's risk-free to try. But now, as I was saying, I've spent the whole day literally going through every single registry video available on YouTube. From creators like Rypex, EXM Tweaks, Lectron, Zilli, Lestripes, Ansel, and much, much more. But that's not where it ends. Since we're doing a deep dive, I also paid a visit to Reddit, GitHub, and Blurbusters to ensure we don't miss anything important. Now, to be completely honest about it, 90% of the free tweaks I see online have been recycled from Reddit posts made 10 years ago. And while zero delay sounds good on paper, most of these videos provide zero proof on whether it really works or not. And to save your time and your sanity, I've decided to test literally all of them so you don't have to. So to run this test properly, I had to wake up at 5 a.m., climb Mount Everest in flip-flops, wrestle three Bengal tigers for dominance, and then walk barefoot across 30 miles of Lego bricks, just so I can deliver this video to you guys. Now jokes aside, I tested the input lag with our latency analyzer, then ping, FPS, frame times, and driver latency via LatencyMon. And of course, we'll test this both on AMD and Intel PCs, one being low-end and the other one high-end, just so nobody feels left out. The testing methodology will also be shown on the screen right about now for those that are interested in this. Oh yeah, and at the end of the video, I'll share a pack with you guys so you can either test the tweaks one by one or bulk apply everything if you're feeling brave. But enough yapping now, let's see the results side by side.
But now that we've seen all of this, let's give ourselves a little break and check the network tweaks out. And before we get to see them, please do me a favor. And also, remember that f***ing like button. I want you to strangle the life out of it from its like button family. But hey, let's start off with Nagel's algorithm. I just applied it through TCP Optimizer since it makes the whole process much easier rather than finding your adapter ID in the registry. Once that was done, I restarted my PC and retested my ping and jitter to see if there's any difference at all. And to be completely honest, it doesn't seem like there was much of a difference except for a margin of error on the upload speeds. But anyway, after reverting the Nagel's algorithm tweaks, I applied the next recommendation from the tweaking gurus. Let's see if that gives us zero ping or not. And nope. Aw oh man, just when I almost had my hopes restored. But hey, maybe the next one will be the hidden gem we were looking for, so I ran the test again to check. And oh well, unfortunately this one did nothing too. But if you think you've seen it all, you better wait to see the cherry on top that I saved for last. We're talking about the most popular mouse tweak that everybody and their grandma shares throughout the whole internet. And yes, you guessed it. It's mouse data queue size. You guys also suggested quite a few other things to test, so I took care of them too. One of them was the process reduction tweak, which basically groups processes together in order to reduce the total process count. And while we did see about 30% less processes, I was kind of curious on whether this will give us an FPS boost or not. And well, it did make a small difference, but nothing too impressive. I also ran some popular BCD tweaks that spread like wildfire on YouTube, and even though they're not registry tweaks per se, you know I really had no choice but to include them. The first one I wanted to test is Disable Dynamic Tick, which is basically just a power saving feature that has no place on a gaming PC at all. Then I tried Use Platform Tick, which forces the use of hardware timers rather than dynamic timers, and actually saw slightly better average frames. Now regarding the TSC sync policy, Enhanced actually synchronizes the timer across all CPU cores. Some people believe this will give you higher FPS, but also higher input lag, which turned out to be partially true. As I promised earlier, you can download all tweaks from our Discord, along with other free resources like power plans, custom OS builds, and everything else we've tested on the channel. And to finish it off properly, I also applied all the tweaks on both high-end and low-end PCs just to see if they work better together, but unfortunately that wasn't the case. So in the end, it turns out that the only way to get zero delay is 